Alright, so before we get into Fae Lantern, let's talk about how to beat this guy. So Fae Lantern is basically a boss with two phases, the Fairy phase and then the Body phase. So after you've defeated the Fairy, which is very naturally squishy, 135 HP, you will go into the Body, it will appear, and the goal here is to stagger the Body, get to this threshold here. After you get to this threshold, you try to one-shot the Body from 100 to 0, and then, uh, if possible, try to kill it. If you cannot kill it, then you have to go back to the fairy phase, do it all over again. The trick here about the fairy phase is that uh, the with more cycles, the number of targets that gets charmed uh, will increase. And charmed means that you cannot deal damage to the fairy. So the it's basically a DPS check. You want your highest damage dealers to be fast if possible so that you can uh, break this fairy with ease and not have to rely on some coins here. So take note that every time the fairy is restored, so every time you go from fairy to body to fairy, it will gain 20% more HP, but this shouldn't be too much of a problem. At most, you will take about two phases to kill this fairy. If you have very good coins or very good uh, moves on your first three turns, you should be able to three-phase this uh, boss. Uh, anything else besides that? Not really. It's really just a DPS check for the first fight, for, for the first part. And then after that, a second DPS check to get to the stagger, a third DPS check to try to kill. If you cannot, then DPS check fairy, and then DPS check body again. So this is pretty much what will happen. And for most people, if you don't have some very good luck, you probably need to take about six turns. If you can get some good luck, it's three to four turns. Yep. Alright, so let's get back into the game here. It's a pretty simple boss fight, all things considered. Like, it's not like any, like, my form empties or whatever, and there's no, like, other management you need to do is just Boonga Boonga. Right, so for this fight, even though piercing is resistant, you just bring them anyway because you are going to get to that stagger threshold really quickly anyway. So you will very easily be able to do a bunch of damage. You do not want to bring any fast tanks here because there's no use in tanking. All you want to do is just go and Boonga Boonga the targets. <sighs> Alright, so in my opening hand here, I basically have this, which is very, very powerful. So all I need to do is something like this, this, and this. Uh, it probably won't get to here, yeah. And then as you can see here, your charm consciousness, you do zero damage to the fairy. Uh, the, the reason these three here are chosen is because they are the slowest. And because they are the slowest, they are charmed. If I get some good rolls here... Yep, one move. That's all it takes. Alright, very nice. We have negative 8 SP on my Ninclair. I got quick suppression on round 1, so this should be actually a phenomenally easy fight. Let's use all of our best moves here to whittle away at this guy's life. Uh, do this as well, do this as well. Mm, maybe for Ninclair, I don't want to clash, because if I clash, I gain too much SP, and then that will not be very good for me. Right, I think something like this should work out pretty well. Ninclair will just lose 15 SP, and he should have a pretty high chance of rolling those 30s. Alright, fragility applied. Go ham, boys. Take note that Fey Lantern is heavily weak to Pride, so my Pride skills will do a lot of damage here. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. Oh no! No, the damage! It could have been 300. Ah, Ninclair. Okay, never mind, we got a double stagger. This, this fight's pretty much over. You see, three turns. Pretty simple. Alright, so just unleash all of the moves that we want. Uh, 826 HP, so we still need to go all out here. Yeah, no choice. We need to go all out if we want to guarantee that this guy dies. And I'm a bit worried that he might live. Alright, broken. Oh no, 86! Ah, 
We have to do the fairy face. Unlucky. Ah, that sucks. Oh well. Nothing we can do about it. Fairy should have about... Okay, 97 HP. Uh, 97 HP, what I can do is I just need to commit something like this. Maybe something like this as well. Okay, I think I need to use the skill one here again. Yeah, otherwise it won't be enough damage to push through. Uh, but then all I need to do is like something like this. And then after that, win rate. Yep, something like this should work. There we go. Thank you, Ninclair. Alright. Uh, there is no need to do anything, he's, he's just good. So, Unga, Bunga, Unga, Bunga. I'll use all my shittiest skills. Clash with her. Eh, clash with you, I think. I think I can't stop him from corroding unless I pop my ego here. Do I want to do that? Maybe. This heals 25 SP. Yeah, I think it could be worth it. Perfect. Alright, 5 turn clear. Oh well, I got a little bit unlucky with the moves. I think the 3 turn clear I actually bought Chef Ryoshu, so it's a lot easier.